Ultimate Champions, my last video on this game was roughly three months ago, so clearly the hype around this game is uh, fucking insane for me to average about four videos a year on it, so that's, that's, that's a good intro from me. You'd almost forget that this game exists, but then in the last few months the hype has been slowly building, bubbling under the surface. So I have stuck it out with Ultimate Champions, I occasionally make some trades on the market in putting my UC teams together, I packed a nice Romanian Keeper here that I ended up selling on for a decent profit, there was a Champs airdrop at some point in July, that was nice, and a couple of months back I opened my two Genesis packs, nothing too special but I did manage to offload this Genesis Mythic Poku for $175, so I've definitely been making moves in the market en route to building my squads, and uh, if you're not sure what Ultimate Champions is, then um, go fuck yourself, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoon feed you, do, you know, do it. Do it yourself, bitch. And huge for me, but anyone who isn't aware, this is a Bristol Rovers shirt. I am in fact from Bristol, and I am a Bristol Rovers fan. It's, uh, it's funny how things work out, I suppose. You know, who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? But you see, have secured the rights to have Bristol Rovers cards on the game, and I mean, hey, if you told me a few years ago I'd be playing a technically global fantasy soccer game with Bristol Rovers cards, well, I'd say I don't believe you, but uh, here we are. Life is crazy. So, of course, I had to open the packs on offer here, it would be rude not to. The first gold pack was a bit of a shitter, honestly, didn't bag a mythic, and the free rares I got were pretty dross. Anderson's pretty solid, but moving on to the platinum pack, this brings more chances of mythics and uniques, and it showed with two mythics dropping a Saunders, who probably isn't too valuable, but I was saved at the end with a mythic bell shoulder, starting keeper for Bristol Rovers, so very happy with that. Money back job on these packs, but uh, just happy to add Bristol Rovers players to the club, you know, so... It's pretty cool, pretty cool, a lower league fan like me, you know, getting the chance to play with my team's cards. It's, uh, it's bringing tears to my eyes. <sighs> and I do try and keep my shit tied to the English side of the game, as that's where most of my knowledge is, and it showed in Game Week 22 where I hit the top end of rewards in the league. Now, for anyone unaware, UC is like proper full on 11 aside shit, so a wide range of teams and lineups and such. So there's room for a lot of variation on performances and winning accounts, perhaps a bit unlike Sora at the moment. In fact, I think Sora rushed out their second division announcement a tad due to the looming threats of Ultimate Champions here, which has picked up steam in recent weeks, as I've said. But uh, anyway, back to Game Week 22, my back four did really well. All three defenders back. 200 plus points this week. The Peterborough players coming in clutch with Taylor in midfield and Chasey H up top, one of the best cards in the game for me right now. And then a great captain choice by me in Hurahan, bound to smash a derby. Too good for League One actually, and he got all of these points in a 0 0 draw as well. So uh, imagine when he starts hitting decisives. I mean, oh, that'd be. That'd be tidy. So Mythic cards are the next step up from the Epic cards, comparatively to so we're sort of around the super rare level I suppose, and I bagged a very nice Anthony Patterson here, an under 23 starting goalkeeper for Sunderland in the uh, English Championship, probably worth about $250 to $300 I'd say, so very happy there, especially when you consider rewards aren't currently tiered in Ultimate Champions, so Civilized Gunner here for instance, broke the scoring record this week and got an absolute dog shit Mythic, uh, unlucky mate. He held the L this week, big rip for him, and you know, eventually I'm sure UC will probably have to get some kind of tiering going for their rewards, but uh, I don't know, right now I'm kind of enjoying the random aspect of rewards. Uh, except for in Game Week 23 where I won this Junior Marais Mythic who decided not to load properly on my screen, which is fucking rude of him. We're pretty much fuck all, uh, this game's a joke basically, we need tiered rewards right now, this is outrageous! But you know, Marais posts some decent scores, so hopefully he'll be very useful for me in these upcoming tournaments, which is brand new to the game for Game Week 24, and basically what spurred me on to uh, start making videos for UC again, so uh, let's check him out. Now, I will say actually recently in UC there had been some discontent over the state of the game a little bit, Logan CP has said it here, the marketplace was being flooded with loads of cards and the prices of these cards were dropping hugely, making the actual value behind packs and the game itself worse and worse with each team drop, you know? How will the players retain value? Will rewards be worth the fight each week? But I think these brand new to the game tournaments will go a long way in mitigating these issues that we've seen, as well as just add more fun and competition each week, so uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to uh, see where it goes from here. And we can see here on this page that tournaments work relatively similar to so rare. You can see the amount of participants and the prizes up for grabs. This epic global division, for instance, is going to be tricky to manoeuvre for game week 200 and 200. Nope, that's so rare. 25, game week 25. I'm, I'm, wait, so rare's in the 300s now. I'm just, I'm just a fucking idiot. What am I talking about? It's game week 25, all right? There's fucking 270 entries at this point and only the top 50 will win an epic. So my work is certainly cut out. That's like 
I'm going to say 17% chance of winning a reward, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I've got a strong setup, so you never know. My big reward pool, Mythica Patterson, starting in net here. Larry always bangs some decent scores in defense, and some mid-tier EFL players dotted around, such as Jack Clark, Tyler Roberts, and Scott Hogan up top. So certainly some possibilities of grabbing a reward, which uh, would be nice. And that's what I really like with UC at the moment. It's anyone's game at this stage in the life of the product, which is a really fun and refreshing aspect for it. So you definitely can't rule a team like this out of winning some good rewards. And we've still got the regular league as well, you know, a beat the system, not each other kind of game mode. You can use players in both the league and the tournaments on the same game week. So the league is basically put your strongest foot first now that bonuses do not impact scores here. And being a midweeker, this lineup is a bit sporadic in quality. But if you don't buy a raffle, you do not win the ticket. So we will see what we can do. And yeah, things are taking along nicely. I will say I've put in about 500 quid to UC so far. Definitely not a small amount of pocket change. But if we check my collection, we can see that getting in early and spending a little bit has served me quite well. My mythics alone are probably worth about 400 quid. And then I've got some big rares such as JCH, Luca Hall, Ricardo Santos, a Genesis Stockley, Jack Clark, and so on. So it's hard to gauge the worth of everything completely accurately. But I'd have to think my account is probably worth a little upwards of a grand right now so uh yeah we're going well having fun with it all and i definitely recommend anyone who's not involved in uc to uh pick it up with tournaments coming into the game now is definitely the time to do so if you've avoided it so far you start off by picking your own common similar to how you would pick an fpl team and uh that was a play straight away with the cards you need to enter the main leagues then maybe you can pick up a few epics or try your luck with some packs to get you going for the beginner tournaments yeah i think that's the end of the video so uh fuck off